Welcome back to the audience and like some more horror games. Today we're playing Doorways to the Underworld. This is a four part like saga. This game right now is $10 on Steam as of 8 20 2016. Um, I got a redeem key for free since I, I'm doing this as a sponsorship. Like, this video is sponsored by these people, so I got the game for free. It's through Freedom, my partners. You can check them out if you own my. What is it called? If you just go on the main channel, like where the links are. Let's just get right into this. What? Pick English. Uh, full screen, sure. The highest. Mm, I guess. I, mean, I don't have Oculus Rift just yet. But let's get into this. Play. Dun, dun, dun. This is a four part series, like I said. I don't know which one, like, I don't know which game comes before what just yet. So this might be like the first one, might be the third one. I don't know yet. I didn't My check. My name is Thomas Foster. The maniacs I pursue fall like dominoes, one after the other. I solve these cases by entering their minds, actually letting them into mine. I stalk them through dark hallways, forests of bloody stakes, inhuman torture chambers, museums of still and eternal suffering. Am I leaving this hell? That's a pretty nice intro. Can we go this way? No. Do I have a flashlight? Saibot Studios presents Fire. These are people who created fire. All props to them. Uh, what is this? Tobias M. J. Rus. That's J. Or I think it's J. Russian. Project Director, Game Designer, Programmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damian. I'm not, I'm not ever good with names. Art Director, Concept Artist, 3D Artist. I'm not good with names unless, like, you tell me how your name's pronounced. Martin. I'm not even gonna try. Pablo. Mm, not gonna try. Concept Artists. Er, Jean Maximiliano, animator and 3D artists. You guys can, you guys see the names. You can try to pronounce it. David A. Leville, music producer, SFX composer. Oh uh, yes, the composers. Oh my God, there's so many. Investor and businessman. Uh, it's Selena Gomez, voice actor, Spanish. I speak Danish. Story writer. English translator. Doorways. The underworld. Dun dun dun. Yeah, yeah. We got fire. Da, 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 da. I don't know like what kind of horror game this is. It's like more like a jump scare. It's more like, um... I like to run around a maze or something. Right now it looks pretty nice. You probably can't see too much. Is it pretty? How do I interact? Oh, left click. Katrina Stein, Frankfurt, Germany, 1964. Neurosurgeon. Reichenwald, Germany, is the origin of several urban legends, as 50 people have gone missing over the last nine years. After the police closed the investigations without any explanations, doorways took over the case. Two agents have been sent there over the last five years but neither has come back. They have been registered as missing on service. Their identities remain classified. Our intelligence reports indicate that Dr. Stein is carrying out experiments with humans for a secret branch of the military forces of her country. 
Well then. Let's get a fall. Oh, fill that up. Um, I just want to start off the bat and say that this game is very high detailed. I'm just messing around. This game does look surprisingly well compared to most horror games. Ooh. Definitely giving me that eerie vibe, even though it's pretty bright in my room right now. Like, can we click, 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 click? I would have liked that little tutorial. Is there actually button controls? No, I don't know. It might be in the options. Like if they showed you like a little prompt on screen, what buttons do what? That may or may not have helped. Am I looking for certain things? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, it'd be nice to see like if you tell me like left click, right click, what it what does what. Ooh. The dungeon branches into somber hallways. As I get deeper, the narrow walls suffocate me, making me want to scream. Anxiety, my target psyche, draws me in, echoing into each one of my senses. Intelligence warned me that I would be dealing with an unprecedented psychopath. She most definitely is. My lust is taking over my duty for the first time. Who is this doctor? Just who am I facing here? It's very interesting the way the story is going. The story, so far, seems very well written. The graphics seem pretty, pretty good, since this is a saga game, it's not like a um, AAA title. So you, you're not supposed to be expecting, you know, GTA 17 graphics, but this game looks surprisingly well. Going into this game, I thought it would probably look really crappy. Might not be too put well put together, but this is definitely up there with some decent horror games. Uh, anything else over here? Can I open the cabinet? No. Hmm. Maybe not. In the broken wood. Oh, walkie, okay, walkie. Okay. Let's set. Is there a button for the inventory? Do I have to select buttons? Controls. W, S, A, D, shift. Control, space. A tab, interact, mouse one. Mouse two, F. Okay. So. Tab. Ooh. Yes. That is a very nice little, like, um, thing. Like, a uh, inventory type thing. Are we locked in now? I guess. That's a very nice little, cool inventory type thing, or selection, whatever you want to call it. Can I close this door? What? Place. Okay, mattresses and blah blah blah. Uh, clo can we now? Can't close the door. Okay, getting a little bit more of an eerie vibe. Just got a little gray or quiet, very close to the mic. Da -da -da -da. It's locked. We need bolt cutters. Hello. Anybody on bolt cutters? Maybe, uh, you know, little snip snips here. says right clicks pull objects so I can have like mattresses and stuff. I need a weapon. Why is there just like electricity? There's light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. Click click click. What is around here? Uh, uh okay. Um 
noises here and there. Wait. Oh, it's going this way. I feel like I'm gonna get lost here. I swear I just heard footsteps coming in behind me. Who at the bed? Why aren't you potty trained? Why is there like a... Um... Ah oh yes, another... how it reads it to you so you don't have to read it as where is this light coming from I could swear I just saw something go by well I'm always said if you see something creepy going around follow it Do we get to see the body, or is that just notes? Um... Yeah... I'm not gonna, you know... Interact as a woman that decides to cry, because I don't want to, you know... Get slaughtered again. Oh, we need a key there. I just went ahead and changed some controls around just so it's easier for me to like, interact with certain things. And I believe I just went the wrong way or something. Oh, we didn't go in here. Did we? Okay, I'm gonna leave there. Um... No, thank you. Isn't this, I came through here. We went in a complete loop. Are we missing something? I have to miss something, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and double check all the rooms. Did I really miss something? Call me dumb in the cop. What the? That definitely wasn't like that. Did something eat through the lock? The world may never know. Oh. Uh, you're not gonna read it to me? Fine. Stupid woman. You... What is that? Blitchered? Blitchered my hole. But you forgot to rip off my nails. You're the only thing I've seen. No, how long has it been? I want to get out and love you like you deserve. Yes, tearing off your full... Flush and drinking up your blood. In my head it won't stop. It just won't stop and... I'm not crazy yet. Please don't. Don't let me come. Please, no, wait. Don't let it come back. Not again. Okay, so we're talking about um, eating each other. You know, all couples. All couples do this. Everybody that has ever had a boyfriend or a girlfriend obviously knows. Oh, that's gonna creep me out. We all obviously know we rip off each other's fingernails and drink up each other's blood. You know, that's just huge for the relationship. Especially once you get married. Uh... This would be so bad if there was like something... Like trying to follow you down here. 
Alright, that's uh, for short exit. Oh yeah, it's a one-way path. Why wouldn't it be? How convenient. Lights placed everywhere we need them. Uh, okay. That looks like a fuse box. Like, I swear I hear stuff. I really do. Um, this looks like a sliding door. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Can we interact with anything in here? So we can pull objects too. Right click, F, tab, what do we have in our inventory? Uh, relics. No. We'll just go back to the inventory. Hang on in the inventory. You guys hear the stuff that's like... Alright, that's not just me. It's like... Like swooshing them. Somebody like moving. Oh yay, puzzles! I love puzzles. Alright, we got another fuse box here, Johnny. Alright, what is this? A key. A button. Oh, a, a key. I think turning a key, but that's missing. Okay, so we turn one. I know that's how we know we have to come back here because there's a missing one. Uh, let's continue one. Continue. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is again. Oh, why would you just have a dead end hallway? Very convenient for the miners. You know. This is just like one dead long hallway. Alright, so I think this is where the key needs to go. Oh no, there's a creepy generator room which I'm probably not going to go in. Because that looks probably the creepiest thing we've seen yet. Um, more broken fuse boxes. Uh, ooh. Can I interact with this? No. Alright, so we need a code. We need a code to unlock the fridge. Nothing in the hall or the corner. Um, generator room, here I come. And uh, the control says space is jump. Why would we need to jump? I don't know if I need to jump or not. Uh, I read this one too. Experiment 9. Wait, wait. Experiment 9, day 1. Finding the next object was easier than expected. A middle-aged, poverty-stricken man caught my attention. What? Caught my attention. He was asking for a job in the slum. All I had to do was was tempting him with a job offer or inviting him to a feast. The good man was not going to refuse. After... Wait, is that day 2? Experiment 9, day 2. After, after interviewing him, I learned he is an, is an interesting man. A humanist with a with Christian Christian values, he has a basic education, but it should be enough. The serum has taken effect, but he now lies in a newly assigned cell. That he the transformation will be successful in, in this time. His patient number is thirteen oh five, so I can remember the start date of this fascinating project. This is this is exactly where we start seeing monsters. Why do I feel like this is gonna trigger the monsters? Because I just feel like that's what that note is trying to say. Uh, we have three generators here that may or may not be hollow. Uh, do we get a code? I'd really like a code. Well, this I guess this is like the second lock. What the? F Okay, Mr. Big Mac, we always love you in every game we play. We're just gonna start calling people Big Mac. Oh, now I get to answer it. Nine one one one. All right, it's four digit code. So what about four corners? No. One two three four. Zero 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 zero. Oh. All right, get out of this. 
I need to find the code. I'm not gonna sit there and play through probably a good 10,000 digits. This is where the keys were, right? Yeah. Did I miss something? Uh, is there anything on the walls? No. No, no, no. Now we gotta be like very observant because I feel like there's gonna be a secret code. Maybe right on a wall, the floor is healing. Very interesting. Oh, we can't go back, so we know it's not over there. All right, it has to be somewhere in here, and I just haven't... I've probably seen it, but I haven't taken notice. Is it down here? No. Um... Uh, I went down here. This is where the actual thing is. Huh. I feel like it might have something to do with the amount of objects. So, there's two. I was going to start counting boxes. So, you get two of those in there. Is it back in here? I feel like the code might be back in here. Um, no. Alright, so there's none of those little generator boxes in here. There is one of those. That's one. It's two generator boxes, we're just gonna start that. I think it might be something with the boxes. Um, I'm just casually walking down. Which is like a run objective. Four. Five. That one actually is different. So five, I already handled those. That's one of those things. So five. Six. Alright, so I think it's six. Six, three. Hmm. Is that one of those? Yeah. One, two. Alright, there's two in there. Three. Four. You know what I'm counting? I'm counting these like whiteboard looking things. So it's six, four, so far. Six, four. Six, five. Six, six. Is it 666? No. So it's 66. Uh, any more of those? I could have swore there was more. So we got 66. Yeah, it's 66 off the bat. Now we'll count these. That's one. One one, so it's six six one one. Means I'm counting these also. It's one one. Um, six six one one. Six six one one. Six six. Three one. Six six three one. Um, I knew there was more of those. Six six five one because there's two in that room with the keys. So six six five one six 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 one. So it's six six one. Then we got these little boxes, that's two. I don't know which one I'm counting. I think it might be generator boxes, so it's six six six. One, two, three. Three there. Four. It's four. So it's six, six, six. Four. Five. So it's five all together so far. Um. Six. 
six 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 five. I'm guessing. I don't know. I might have to Google it. I'm not too fond of what this could actually be. So it's six. Six 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 five. No. What could you be? I'll be right back. I'm gonna Google the answer. So I'm on for the investigation. It's one three zero five. And this is actually the third game in the four game saga. And the fourth version is the final game. So experiment nine day eleven. I've completed the the I've completed the MU amputation of his arms and legs. These are painkillers was necessary this time. Pain caused ag agitation. Had destroyed patient seven twelve and seven eighteen's nervous system before, and I have not I'm not willing to make that mistake again. No, go back to your notes, I didn't finish reading. And we got the final key. I'm not too fond of meeting Mr. Big Mac, but we gotta do what we do. Uh, let's go to notes. Yes, this one. I'm not willing to make the mistake again. There's another page. Experiment 9, day 21. The right, the right leg stitches show minor symptoms of infection. The subject's continuous screaming questions won't let me focus. I would rather not to inject any more tranquilizers because his senses need to be on full alert. The most practical solution will be to be removing his tongue. Oh, God. So the dude is screaming and questions, he's continuously screaming and asking questions, so you're going to cut off his tongue. He can still scream, like, <laughs> you can still scream without your tongue, you just can't really talk, like, and this is tongue It might be a lot harder without your tongue, but... Because most of the time you are using your tongue to actually make the um, different sounds with your mouth, like... Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay. Alright, we gotta go tab. Items. Antor. Go over to key. Grab key. Jab it in the hole, turn it. And yay, let's go meet Mr. Big Mac. And going down the hall, going to the left, actually. Oh, no, 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 oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. You see nothing. Hide. Yes, stay away from him. You cannot confront him. You sure about that? You know, so run out there, give him the old one, two. I am hiding. Oh, God. Let us hide forever. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh god. Oh god, he's right there. Hello? What is he on? Is like some wheelchair looking thing? Maybe I'll just crawl to my location. It says just hide. So I'm guessing I can just hide here. I don't think he's. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Look for a safe spot for any key to retry. That actually is pretty horrifying. Money <laughs> gonna give you the one two. Let's go, buddy. 
Well. Well, then. That is Doorways the Underworld. If you want to see more, drop a like on this video down below. Um, you can pick it up on Steam for $10 as of 8-20-2016. It's a pretty fun game. It's a little slow with the jump scare, like the actual scariness of the game until you actually find out the safe code. Um, uh, yeah. Overall, my thoughts on the game are, it's pretty well made. Uh, with the generators you can see inside of them, that's the only real graphical glitch I've seen so far. It might have been nicer just to see, like, certain things have a little bit more detail, so it actually, you can't see inside certain thing, certain things and just see them as hollow objects. But, um, yeah, the monster seems pretty scary. It's pretty scary. It's a pretty well put together monster. It looks like it's on one wheel and has a bunch of blade arms. The story's definitely pretty, pretty well put together. I think the safe code was in one of the notes. I just didn't pay attention to one of the notes, but, um, if you did enjoy, I guess, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. You know how we do it. More likes than dislikes, we play with more, more dislikes than likes, we don't play the game again. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! For about, mm, probably about $90. Um, it is the version that has like the, um, like the phone battery and stuff in it, I really don't know. As you can see here, it's the TI-84 Plus CE. If you turn the calculator off, or second on, you can see it won't be on as soon as you turn the calculator on. It'll appear. Now, the TI-84 Plus CE, I know for a fact, comes with cords because it has to be charged by USB. It has a phone battery. Um, when I first got it, it did have the outdated OS, so I had to go to the site and download the new OS. Um, what is this? I don't know what that is. There's a bunch of features you can mess around with. If you wanted to, you know, I'm just typing a bunch of stuff in. And boom. Oh, this is, a, this is an error. Let me take a picture of that on my screen. And now we can see. And we can actually zoom in. This is what my calculator is seeing. Now I'm just going to type in 8, 5, 2, 3, 6, 9, 7, 7, 4, 5, 8 just a bunch of random numbers click enter and as you can see that's the, what i just entered eight five two three six nine seven seven four five eight this is a good way to like, capture the screen if you need to or if you need to like show off something that you may have done on your calculator i'm just gonna delete these because i do not need them delete now once you have your software downloaded make sure it's the ti 84 plus CE if you have the CE version Whatever it says atop the cross the atop the cr Across the top of your calculator is what you need to have so if it says TI 84 you need TI 84 if it says TI 84 plus you need TI 84 plus if it says TI 84 plus CE you need TI 84 plus CE Once you get here, this is all the stuff that it has pre-installed I went ahead and reinstalled all of this just to make sure it's the latest stuff. You don't need to do that. If you want to make your own programs, you can go ahead and do it here.